like to get there in one piece. I guess Helmet can't wait to see the Phantom Fan. <laughs> oh, yeah, green. Ha! I'm not afraid of no guys. Ah, what's that? Ah! Help what are you doing? doing? Oh, no! <laughs> That's the first time I've seen the old team go off for an early bath. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about me, lads. Many's the time I've had a dip in this lock. Now, is everyone safe? Where's Amanda? Hey, Napper, did you see Amanda? She was sitting next to you. Oh. Amanda! Cow! My foot! <laughs> I guess you always did have a strong right foot. Well, sometimes you gotta tackle like your life depended on it. <laughs> What's the matter? It's gone. What's gone? That thing on the road, it made me swerve. Look for yourself, laddie. There's nothing there. Gee, I thought you weren't afraid of no ghosts, old buddy. They're coming for us. It was simply a question of reckless driving. We could all have been killed. I could do nothing, I swear. I break to miss this thing in the road and the bus does not answer. Sure you weren't frightened by a ghost helmet? <laughs> this is no laughing matter. You're right, Jock. Huh? Sure isn't. Now, I've just been taking a look at the bus. Helmet's right. There was nothing he could do. The brakes were tampered with. Well, the bus is a total loss. It looks as if somebody doesn't want us to play this charity match. Yeah. And I got a good idea who that somebody is. Revo cut the cable. We forced them off the road. It was a miracle anyone got out alive, Mr. Garkos. The charity match is still scheduled for tomorrow. It must not go ahead. I want that stadium. It's an antique. It'll make a perfect exhibit for my Hall of Fame. I'll see to it, Mr. Garkos. You had better win. You know what to do. Oh, that I do, Mr. Garkos. That I do. <laughs> Way to go, Helmet! Now they're looking good, Jock, but they're no match for Inverfin and Celtic. Stuff and nonsense. We'll make mincemeat out of your lads. One thing's for sure. Nothing's gonna keep the crowds away from this one. Not even the Phantom Fan. I'll get the ball. What's that? Is anyone there? Who's that? I guess I must be seeing things. Huh? Digger. Come on, I know you're there! Huh? So much for the Phantom Fan. <gasps> this big dark shape loomed up in front of me. 
and then suddenly everything went blank. I'm not surprised. You were still out cold when we found you. It was the Phantom Fan, no doubt about it. Well, whatever it was, that bump on your head is no Phantom. In all my years at Inverfinnan, I never knew the Phantom Fan to be violent. What? Do you believe in oh, God? Come on, Chuck. We're not talking about any commoner garden ghost. We're talking about a true supporter. Someone who was prepared to lay down his life for the club. It was nearly 70 years ago. Every other game in the second division had been postponed because of the weather. But the visitors had to come a long way, and the referee wanted the game to go ahead. The visitor supporters' coach got stuck in the snow. No fans came. It was too cold. No fans, that is, except Jeff McHenry. He was the only spectator in the stadium. Inverfinnan's most loyal fan. And when the game was abandoned, after 63 minutes, Inverfinnan were leading 2-0. And Jeff McHenry was still there, frozen solid, his rattle still twirling in the wind. We lost the replay and Inverfinnan went down to the second division. Ever since then, when times are bad, the Phantom Fan appears to haunt Inverfinnan Park. Have you ever seen him, Jock? Indeed I have, lass. And one thing I'm sure of, the Phantom Fan would never have given you that bump on the head. Wow! Would you believe that? No, I wouldn't. But I think I know who did spook Amanda. <laughs>